what we see here is that there is an appliance that is fixed onto the upper molar okay with the help of a screw then it's fixed onto the lower molar okay and this component this tube component is holding the mandible in a forward position so we can identify this as a fixed functional appliance now fixed functional appliances are those appliances that are used uh, to advance the mandible and correct a class 2 deficiency a class 2 malocclusion because of mandibular deficiency okay or mandibular uh, in in those cases where the mandible is retracted now it works on the similar principle as that of functional appliance like a twin block however because it is fixed we don't have to worry about the patient cooperation part of it okay now how do we identify what this appliance is and how will be differentiated from the other options which are given in the question so let's have a look at this appliance this is a herbs appliance okay now the herbs appliance was given by email herbs but it was actually popularized by panchers okay now this is a bilateral telescopic mechanism which uses a piston and a tube so what is important bilateral telescopic mechanism what do you mean when you say telescopic mechanism is there is one tube okay and there is another smaller tube of smaller di diameter which fits into this tube okay so this is what is known as telescopic mechanism so if you see in this image here there is a tube which is attached onto the crown of the lower canine and there is a plunger or a piston that goes and attaches into the tube which is attached to the upper molar okay so this helps to keep the, the length of this tube has to be selected uh, according to how much protraction we want of the mandible and this will keep the mandible in a protruded position and thereby bringing about the class 2 correction now the main features of herbs are its components so like i said it has a piston and a tube component so this is what they look like they end in this circular shape okay this is because these screws that are present they go and fit into this Okay, and that is how it is held in place as you can see here the circular portion of the, the tube or the plunger uh, fits onto the crown or the band uh, by the means of an axle and then the screw is fit onto the place so if you see from top this is how it looks like it can be welded either on a band or a crown so if this is the band here this is the welded portion okay which consists of this uh, axle here and then the uh, end of the tube goes and fits onto it and then a screw is placed to hold it in position so this prevents breakages and this helps to hold it in place now this is what the appliance looks like when it is deactivated okay they are separate components now this part will go and fit into this part now if you can notice there are various types of herbs appliances they can be banded okay here or they can be uh, crowned uh, they can be present on crowns there are also acrylic bonded uh, herbs appliances and there are many many uh, you know modifications that have come uh, for the appliance so if you see in the image here you can see that there is no crown present on the lower uh, canine or the premolar so this actually in the image what you see is a type of cantilever herbs okay it's a cantilever type of herbs so there is a crown on the upper and a crown on the lower and the uh, from the lower crown there is a portion that extends anteriorly okay so there are many types of herbs appliance however types of herbs is not a question that is usually asked in the exam from this topic what they can ask you is to identify the appliance and its characteristic features okay so like how they gave in this question another important thing that they can ask you from this question is Ritos classification now Ritos classification is a slightly advanced question but such advanced questions we have seen in the aims examination so uh, although it may seem like something that you have never heard of in your undergraduation these kind of questions can be asked in case you're attempting to give uh, the aims exam or sometimes they can even ask you this in the neat examination so it is good to have a basic idea at least about what the ritos classification is so basically rito uh, rito classified the fixed functional appliances into three types okay so there is a rigid that is flexible and that is hybrid okay so these are the three types of appliances uh, in a fixed functional appliance so like here we saw there is a piston and tube appliance right so these are rigid appliances however in a jasper jumper we see that there are springs so those are types of flexible appliances now how do we differentiate herbs appliance from the other options which were mentioned in the question so like i told you the characteristic features of herbs is that it's a rigid a rigid fixed functional appliance it's telescopic mechanism uh, right that is the piston and the tube or plunger okay and the third is the axle and screws so 
so like i told you there are different types of herbs appliances various modifications are given but this is what the basic uh, herbs appliance is uh, this is what is characteristic to identify it okay another type of appliance that was mentioned in the options is the power scope now if you look at the power scope here this also has a telescopic mechanism like this part fits into this tube here however unlike the herbs appliance where you have to select the length of the tube uh, this is a one size that fits all okay and the mode of attachment of the appliance onto the dentition is also different so here you have an uh, uh, there is a part which has this slot into which the wire will fit and which is then screwed into place like you can see here okay so this is the power scope now the mara appliance again it's very characteristic because unlike the other fixed functional appliances it does not extend up into the anterior region it is limited only to the upper and lower molar it has a very characteristic this u shaped uh, you know appliance which is held by these cams which are soldered onto the molar tubes so again mara appliance is something that they will ask in the examination only to identify they will not go into the details of uh, mara's appliance because it is a bit advanced okay so at least you need to know uh, what the appliance is and how it looks like so you can identify it and lastly we come to forces now like i told you in the ritos uh, classification there is a fix uh, there's a rigid that, like uh, herbs there is a flexible uh, fixed functional like a jasper jumper and there's something known as hybrid right so this is actually an example of a hybrid fixed functional appliance so if you see here there is a flexible component in the uh, in the form of a coil spring okay which is held in place by these rigid uh, 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 rigid framework onto which this coil is fitted onto okay so that is why it is a hybrid appliance now this is a very very important point about the forces because this again can be asked as a separate question on its own and also uh, it is a very very clinically relevant uh, appliance because this is what is routinely used uh, in orthodontic practice when you want to give a fixed functional appliance because it's very easy to use easy to maintain and uh, tolerated well by the patients